the Lord be with you, my dear family of God. Once again, Holy God series comes your way with the Word of God. It aims at inspiring every individual to live according to the Word of God and the teachings of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and I would like to reflect with you on a theme, a call to forgive. In today's Gospel, from Matthew 18, 21 to 35, suggests to us the number of times that one should forgive a brother or a sister when he offends him. It sounds ridiculous, 70 times 7. It is difficult. It makes no sense. However, Jesus invites us to forgive 70 times 7 times, which is not easy for every human being to get it done. Where you recall the sins of a brother to that point. The number of times Jesus suggests to us does not necessarily mean that we should count to that point, but we should forgive any time somebody offends us. In last week's Gospel, from Matthew 18, 15 to 20, Jesus instructs his disciples how and the steps to reconcile with a brother when the person offends you. In today's Gospel, Peter questions Jesus how many times should we take these steps when somebody offends us, when a brother offends us, when a sister offends us, when a friend offends us, when a colleague offends us. We are told that we should forgive 70 times 7, that is 490 times. Well, it is a huge number. How do I forgive those many times? It is possible, and this tells us the unlimited nature of forgiveness. When it can be said that it is like our unlimited airtime that we have, that we talk and talk and talk till we are very selves, we are tied to the end of the time. It suggests to us the endless nature of forgiveness. The unlimited nature of forgiveness brings to mind what is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a voluntary act or decision to let go certain resentment, certain anger being caused by some people's offenses against you. We are invited not to punish people who offend us. We are invited not to pay back those who have offended us. So in today's first reading from Sirach, we are told to avoid vengeance. For vengeance belongs to the law. Punishment belongs to the law. So we should avoid certain punishments that we give to people when they offend us. It is difficult to forgive when sometimes the person is a family member, when the person is your husband, when the person is your wife, when the person is your son, when the person is your daughter, a family member, it is very difficult. It is very difficult when a friend whom you have trusted so much offends you. It is very difficult to forgive. It is not easy. It is not easy to forgive somebody whom you have helped so much in his life. Somebody who deliberately offends you. It is very difficult. However, we are invited today to let go those resentment, to let go those anger, to forgive them of their offenses. As we forgive, we also receive sanity of mind and body. When we forgive, we receive peace of mind. We have peace in our life. When we forgive, we receive healing for our souls, for our minds, and for our body, and for the one 
who has also offended us. When we forgive, we also receive forgiveness from God. When we forgive, God's mercy becomes ours. God's grace becomes abundant in our lives. Let us try our very best to forgive, regardless of the challenges that we go through sometimes to forgive. The very act of unforgiveness is a barrier to God's grace and His mercy. Don't allow somebody's act of sin become a barrier for you not to receive God's grace. We pray that the graces of God will be ours, for we cannot forgive without the grace of God. So that we can forgive every individual, being a family member, a friend, a colleague at workplace, and every person whom we encounter in our life. As God has ushered us into this week, we pray that His graces will journey with us at our workplaces. His graces will lead us into prosperity. His graces will lead us into success in our education. May the hand of God be upon our work so that our work will be prosperous. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Stay blessed and enjoy the rest of the week.